looking forward, these variants are really going to be the biggest uh, challenge that we have to overcome in order to get our lives back to normal. Before we can get back to that place, that normal place we all miss, doctors like Nine Health expert Pyle Coley say more change is needed. We were running a race with an opponent and suddenly our opponent started running a lot faster, got a little boost. So what we have to do in response is to start running a little bit faster as well. That means doubling down on protective measures like social distancing and hand washing. Because this is a more aggressive variant, which we think can spread more quickly. And doubling up on masks. So a single layer mask is not enough. Whether you're using a disposable one or a cloth one, a single layer mask like those neck gaiters are absolutely not enough. Dr. Coley says there's evidence people infected with the new variant may give off more virus in their droplets. A single layer of fabric just isn't enough protection anymore. So this is not going to do it. I like to say if you can hold your mask up to the light and see the light through it, it's not really doing its job. You're safest with at least two layers of fabric and a filter sandwiched in the middle. If that's not possible, two single layer masks are better than one. So for some people who don't have multi-layer masks, they're doubling up on their masks. If you go this route, Dr. Coley says it's important to keep your masks in the proper order. Because that outside mask is the one that outside surface has potentially been contaminated. And the last thing you want to do is flip it around and put it on the inside right next to your mouth and nose where you could inhale those potential viral particles. Allie Levine, Nine News.